<laughs> Doug. Oh, you're such a bad dog. Hello, folks. Oh, I'm telling you, that dog is going to kill me. I'm suffering from sleep deprivation because of uh, Doug's shenanigans. Well, it's because of them. The critters are moving around. And uh, it's like, well, this is the, the fourth night that I've had with my sleep completely screwed up that I'm up for well last night I was up for four hours in the middle of the night because of him because we've got uh, well I've seen two uh, a pair of uh, really really big coyotes come through I got a fox I know for sure um, and I saw the mink so like mother nature is really really getting active and uh, because the nights are warmer I've got my window open because uh, my house overheats at night even with all the heat off it's like my house gets too hot at night and uh, I'm uh, I'm suffering because Doug is uh, sitting on the bed thinking that it's a lookout post and uh, the ducks you know sound the alarm quacking that something's going wrong outside and uh, close this because these the ducks are escaping now because they see grass so what's happening is Doug is doing some serious freaking peeking well put it this way I've got to redo some windowsills because Doug was bouncing so much on the windows that he's gouged all my woodwork that I just freshly installed last fall big gouges in the wood I'm so tired my eyes are burning and I had so much work to do today because I'm working the reason I've been, I've been gone folks not uh, being around you haven't seen me while well, you see me working if you, you know if you're watching the, the streams off and on um, I've been working on my my uh, my future plans is what I've been working on and uh, I'm getting closer getting closer it's, it's, it's a lot of work, <laughs> a, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of little, a lot of crossing your t your T's and dotting your I's stuff. Uh, are they kind of geese here? Yes, they are. Let's uh, go over here. See how close I can get to them. Just one pair. Oh, they're eating the corn, but so are the blackbirds. There's lots of birds in eating the corn right now. There they are. I wonder where the other pair are. Oh, they're going to leave any minute. They're, they're doing this as the old uh, asking for clearance from the uh, <laughs> control tower. Well, they might, they might not take off. But usually they do when they start making noise like that. It's they leave. But they know who I am because uh, I've been taking corn to them and they, they let me walk right up to them and dump the corn. But there was uh, two pairs here the other day and they were mating, uh, chasing each other. No, they're not leaving yet. I'm definitely irritating them. Look at the snow, folks. This is crazy. Oh, man. And the weather's not even that nice. Oh, they're leaving. Oh, there they go. I knew it. That's the, that's the old air, tra air traffic controller asking for permission to leave. The ducks are playing in the water here. Hey, eh? we got running water everywhere. Dirty ducks, too. All right. Let's, uh, let's get egg recon and, and hospital ducks taken care of here. Man, I wish this weather would warm up. That wind, uh, because uh, everything's frozen, it's uh, the wind's really cool. Like it's like plus seven right now, but 
but you can feel the wind it's got a bite to it I've actually got the wrong hat on to be out walking around in the wind When are we going to start having some 10 and 12 and 15 degree days? I, this winter is just, it's brutal, <laughs> brutal. Alright, what's going on here ducks? Hmm? Oh, we got Tiny sitting on a nest over there. Not a lot of duck action happening here, is there? Are you laying an egg, Tiny? <laughs> she's in a bit of a trance. Or she's just doing her wobble act. Alright, let's get this happening. Alright, ducks. We're here to make you better. Relax. Open your mouth. Hold on. Okay, you just spit the medicine back up. On. Sometimes they do that. I eh? gurgle her back up on you. This infection is, uh, I'd like to know what the cause of it is. It's a bizarre thing, you know. It's like, some kind of cartilage joint thing, you know? Because it's not bumblefoot or anything like that. Egg production is like really picking up here. It's uh, I'm filling almost a tray and a half every day of a 30 pack on a tray. The, the, the food bank's getting a good load of eggs next week. I'll have three uh, cartons like probably pushing I think maybe like 600, 650 eggs next week, which by weight compared to chicken eggs is, you know, like 900 eggs, you stripper. And if you consider that, you know, they only get donated 240 chicken eggs a month from the egg marketing board, uh, you know, that's a pretty good haul for uh, our donation to them. But the ducks have definitely turned on. These girls have stopped laying eggs though. Can't use their eggs anyways. Antibiotics can't uh, eat them. Only, only the thing is Doug can eat them. Hey there bird. Come on. Are you on an egg? Come on. Move. Okay, you, okay, you stand up there bird. She's, she's going <laughs> to... Incubate some duck eggs. Oh, that's a goose egg. No, it's not duck egg. It's not white. Not white enough. Did I miss any eggs? Got them all. All right. Let's see what the geese gave us. Yesterday I got uh, four goose eggs yesterday. <laughs> the birds, eh? They scatter. Oh, it's him, the human. just like yesterday. All right. 
not as many eggs as yesterday. That's uh, strange. They're definitely eating more now. For some reason, they've turned on eating. Wow, they, this critter thing, folks. I think it's, it's so hard on me. Hey, I'm having deja vu of last summer of my sleep deprivation because like now I'm last night was the fourth night of my sleep uh, uh, screwed up fourth night of uh, not working out for me so I'm gonna do my uh, my chores and uh, I'll uh, I'll talk to you later